for some celebrity dish. And we have the Cavs DC Sports in game host, let's Mike Kroger. Let's, let's go. Let's go. I know we're the one and only Mary We're ready. <laughs> Ready. So are y'all really this close? I just, I mean, the chemistry is okay, so awesome. We actually are. Mike will tell you, Mike and I are actually really good friends, and our whole team, we all love each other. I'll let you take it away, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, we love the people that we work with. Yeah. We've become really close over the past couple of yeah. years. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, it was been a joy to work with Annie Mae. It so. actually is. This is real Mike and Annie Mae. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mike and, and I love yeah, each other. You get kind of like the behind-the-scenes look yeah. here. Well, you guys do such a great to job Arena. together we on, just have so much on fun. the arena. It's so good yeah. to see you guys in action. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. I mean, the atmosphere here and at Capital One Arena is top notch, right? Yeah. So it's easy. Yeah. You got that. Love right. to hear that. Easy. You heard yeah. it here, folks. Yeah. You heard it here first. You're our people. <laughs> yeah. You ready to get into Celebrity Dish? Because there's a lot. Can't wait to get your All take right. on some okay, of it, let's Mike. Do it. Let's join in on this first one here. Amanda Seals is the latest celebrity in the hot seat at Club Shay Shay, but her appearance hasn't garnered the same reaction as comedian Cat Williams. Instead of spilling the tea, the outspoken actress and activist sat down for a very frank discussion with Shannon Sharp about her past experiences with race. But the conversation quickly went left and has some fans calling Shannon out for being anti-black and dismissive of black experiences. Take a listen. In the situation at Disney, I was there as the only black girl, okay. and there was a whole crew, it's like, 12 of us, 12 of us, um, and so I was called an N-word right there while I was there, and uh, I was also bullied while I was there because I was told that you're only here because you're black. You can't really dance. You're just here because you're black, so don't get any ideas. So that's what I'm being told by the other children. Does that suffice as racist to you, or would you want to call it something else? Is that just kids being mean? That's, yeah, the kids. Okay, her, her face says it all. Yeah. And here's the, the broader question, though. If you all have been following Club Shay Shay, he's bringing on all these celebrities, right, to just talk frankly about any and everything. And there are some people saying, you know, what's the responsibility of the podcaster in asking real questions, good follow-ups, getting the other side? Mm -hmm. And Shannon has said, listen, this isn't 60 Minutes. I'm going to let people say what they want, and maybe I'm not going to go in-depth, but other people are saying that he needs to take a higher road and more responsibility in the interviews if he's going to be doing interviews. What do you think? So is she getting blasted for, for that comment? Well, Shannon is being blasted for not, um, I guess, in. stepping in and kind of validating her personal experience with well, race. Well, I say validate her personal experience, yeah. but it's not your experience. You have no idea what yeah. happened in that specific situation. So you say, yeah, if that's your experience, like, I'm, I'm sorry for that experience, um, you know, uh, accepting that and then saying, you know, it's her experience you can't explain somebody else's if you weren't there i agree and i yeah. think too i watched the interview i feel like for the first time shannon was probably out of his league yeah you know because when you have comedians it's one thing where you're joking around but when yeah. people are really going deep into yeah. things that impacted them i could tell that he was kind of shifting and not knowing what to say and maybe yeah. that wasn't the best platform or maybe it was well, she started out. Uh, let's let's put some context here. This is a two-hour conversation. Yeah, I mean, this three is a hours. A three hour. Yeah, this is a long conversation between her and Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp, of course, is known for his, you know, explosive interviews, uh, or at least him getting explosive guests. Let me just put it that way. Uh, and she's also known for being quite problematic. Uh, she called out a lot of folks who she had worked with in the past. The challenge here is that she also mentioned her mental health illnesses. Mm -hmm. She was dealing with, of course, autism that she said she had been diagnosed with and, and how she had been going through those disabilities. And she really put this into context and in saying that these are the things that I deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. People don't like me because of who I am, but she didn't always have the word to describe mm -hmm. or even the type of, you know, infrastructure to put it into. And Shannon didn't and, either. And Shannon didn't either. And that's the challenge when you yeah. put those conversations on platforms like this. And if you don't fact check or you don't have anybody fact checking, it just leaves it open to the public to decide mm -hmm. what they want. That can be a good thing, right? We love public forums where you can yeah. talk about whatever you want to, but it's a challenge when you don't authenticate and verify some of the false information. And sure. I think people are asking, okay, he's a podcast, he's not a journalist, so he can he can have he can say what he wants to, but you still gotta have some yeah. responsibility when you put it out there for the world to see. Yeah, even like to back kind of what Annie May was saying too, like it's it's about hearing the perspective of the people that you have on your podcast and trying to gain an understanding of their perspective yeah. and, and what they have to say. Um, so, so yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's uh, hopefully that's what he came away with yeah. after that conversation and to your point too, how people determine what, how they want to hear it is yeah. ultimately up to them. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah.
Like you said, it's not 60 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. It can be entertainment yeah. and do whatever it's you take. Shannon Sharp's been in a lot of big time heated yeah. conversations, yeah. things like that. Big so, conversations. Um, yeah. We still want to know why yeah. he wore that, uh, <laughs> that outfit. So. Also drinking that's during a bigger the interview, question. So. Well, <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. Three hours long. Yeah. 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 Let's get to another big story. Yeah. 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 Ye